All right. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at a strategy for finding up-to-date and current technology and information technology news stories or articles. This is a very sort of specific task. Uh, we're, we're not just doing general browsing. We're actually wanting to see what is the current news that's happening in computers and information technology. The problem is there's so many different sources and sites with information about computers and technology, whether it's the Wall Street Journal or whether it's you know one of the technology blogs, um, it's time consuming to kind of keep up with what is the current news stream. So <clears throat> of course we could Google for a particular topic. Uh, we could get some traction um, in, in using a, a Google approach. If I were looking, wanting to see some current articles say on a particular topic like RFID, I could Google for it. The problem is I'm getting almost 20 million hits here and a lot of these are just going to be your usual suspect Wikipedia how stuff works that sort of thing and you would probably have to uh, further filter this or go through quite a bit of, of search pages in order to be able to really find um, any sort of you know representative list of what are the current s news stories that are related to RFID so we're really talking about what is technology news so the trick is not to use Google, but to use a specific site that aggregates the news in a um, <clears throat> close to real time fashion. And the one we're going to recommend is TechMeme. That's T E C H M E M E dot com, TechMeme dot com. Uh, they have a nice site that works for your mobile device. Um, it, it's formatted nice for you know a phone or a tablet, or you can use a computer for this. And the idea here is simply a list of the technology stories with links to the stories from the different sources that are coming across the wire in uh, essentially real time. So this is the most current stories of what's actually trending right now. These are the stories that have the most links and cross links um, and that the human curators that run TechMean have decided um, and have determined are the, you know, the, the most uh, relevant technology stories. So it looks like Microsoft has a new um, Cortana. Uh, I think this is a voice recognition system. Xbox Live is talking about doing stuff with Android and iOS games. Dish just secured the rights to launch an internet TV service. Um, Bitcoin is having uh, a lot of um, a lot of news these days. Uh, Twitter, of course, Justice Department backs broadcasters in the Aereo dispute. Um, game rental service, Gamefly now getting into movies to compete with Netflix, and so it goes. Um, this is just stories that have happened here in the last few hours. So this alone is, is a pretty interesting way to sort of track uh, what's going on. You want to uh, pay attention that the sponsor posts, of course, are not necessarily news as much as just, you know, commercials. And those sponsored posts will also show up occasionally in the, in the stream over here on the, the left side. If I click on the leaderboard, I can see the the actual sources for all of the um, the different stories that are trending from the ones that are the most common source, which is the the big tech blogs like TechCrunch and The Verge, and then you know traditional mainstream media like Wall Street Journal, New York Times, Bloomberg, etc., Reuters. Um, so if you're into technology, you'll recognize most of these names. Um, as either specifically technology um, news sources or just generic um, news sources and you can see what percent of the stories come from the different sources. So I suppose if just looking at this if you wanted to have one particular site where you could get a lot of stories TechCrunch or The Verge would be good sites to actually go to but personally um, I don't find it necessary to follow any of of, of any of these specific sites on a day-to-day -day or even a week-to-week -week basis. I simply see what the stories are that are trending on TechMeme and I trust TechMeme to actually aggregate those stories. The um, other interesting thing is, and this is where you can actually begin to get a feel for the velocity of information technology stories and news that's happening, is to click on what we call the river. And you can jump into the river and the river actually takes it by time, and so right now it's 10.45 p.m. Eastern Time uh, on March 3rd, and we can see that, you know, the, the most recent stories that, that hit uh, happened 15 minutes ago, you've maybe 45 minutes ago, uh, you know, a, a little over an hour ago, an hour and 
10 minutes ago and we can see these stories and we're moving now backwards in time all the way to, to 1 a.m. Uh, when some of the um, you know one of some of the stories started to post and then we're moving back into yesterday the day before and there's the source and then the actual name of the article and you can kind of get a lot to, to be to see what's actually going on by just kind of looking at the headlines and this is just a continuous stream and we can go all the way back to like 2005 um, you know 10 years of news stories by just kind of moving backwards through the stream so that's one way to kind of look at stuff of course the other thing one can do is <clears throat> we can go back to the the home page here and we can simply search for news story so remember the example we looked at earlier which was RFID radio frequency ID tags if I wanted to look at maybe an aspect of privacy radio frequency ID and find some current or recent articles that reference RFID I could simply type in RFID in, in the search I'm not searching the web I'm not searching Google but I'm searching the tech meme archive which is all of the the, the stories that have been archived in tech meme and I can see that there's 122 stories now so this is you know fairly you know manageable uh, amount of stories that I could actually work through if I wanted to see what what are the what are the different sources of stories that have been um, trending that um, have um, <clears throat> RFID so first smart gun on sale in the US requires RFID enabled watch in proximity to fire so that's an interesting story that came out on February 19 uh, so that was, you know, a week or or, or two ago. Uh, Airbus reveals iPhone-enabled smart bag with RFID GPS tracking. That would be very convenient and probably has some um, privacy implications. Student suspended for reviews, refusing to wear RFID tracker loses lawsuit. I'm guessing that he probably uh, felt, uh, it looks like maybe he had some religious reasons for, for this. Um, and so we can see that that came from a couple of different um, articles. New RFID device could jam your cell phone while your car is moving. Facebook engineer behind Presence is turning the concept into a standalone company. So what is this Facebook Presence? That looks interesting. So I could come back here and say, okay, uh, Facebook Presence helps to know how to spell. And let's see if we can find anything here. and presence is probably a bad term to actually search for so I'm gonna go back presence presence so maybe I need to actually click on the the article and then I can bring up the article no oh, brother so yeah, a lot of privacy stuff here. All right, Apple wins iPhone 4 and key RFID transponder display patents. Interesting. So again, we're moving in reverse chronological order through this particular topic. Hacker shows how he can intercept cell phone calls with $1,500 device. So this is an actual video that shows how he's able to intercept a, a cell phone call. So obviously this has, you know, um, is, a, is a big privacy story. Forget Hall Monitor School investigates tracking students with RFID. And then you might find a particular topic then that you could maybe go back and cross um, check in Google maybe to find out some more information about something. This looks interesting. Information Week has an article back in November. RFID isn't changing the world, but it's being used strategically in government, business to track animals, stock products, and tag documents. Uh, it says RFID was expected to change retailing forever. That didn't happen. So that article probably talks about why that is. Apple testing RFID enabled iPhone and again um, you know all of these stories um, because of the nature of RFID um, are going to have um, you know privacy implications 
All right, so you know, pick your topic. You can put that in, and um, you know, there's an idea which is black boxes, and black boxes are now being required in automobiles. So I'm going to type black box. Of course, now I'm discovering that black box is actually the name of something different. So. learn something so black box means something different to the news stream than it did to me um, maybe GPS global pages oh, GPS and maybe I could add privacy to that see I'm searching title and summary only lawmakers push bill to limit GPS tracking Wow and that was a while ago we can see that this is going back to um, 2013 but again um, if, you, if there's a particular topic you're interested in seeing if there was any news stories about this is a way to do that alright so um, that's a, a tool that you could uh, add to your um, to your tool kit or toolbox of ways of getting information um, in this case um, a way to find current or recent articles either just to sort of surf the river or to be able to specifically look for a specific article on a particular topic. Alright, so that concludes this tutorial.